This patch and sequence sounds complicated, but is made from a very simple set of building blocks. Notice that the Rene and pressure points are unused. This primordial sequence is created only with tempi and maths. This video will show in detail how to create and manipulate this sort of ground up sequencing. All signals in a modular synthesizer are transmitted and received in the same form. Contrast this with the messages from a MIDI controller, where each message always begins with notation about its purpose. In the modular synth, a signal is raw voltage. Its identity as CV, audio, gate, or clock has just as much to do with where it is patched to as where it comes from, and any signal can be patched to any input. For this reason and others, the modular synthesizer is particularly well suited to generating not only new sounds, but new methods of composition. The Tempe's outputs are clocks, in other words, they alternate regularly between outputting 0 volts and 10 volts. Clock and gate inputs throughout the system are made to respond to these outputs by toggling, switching, or stepping. But nothing is stopping us from patching a gate or clock to an input that expects a continuous control voltage. For example, the shape input on the DPO. Using the panel control and attenuator, we can set low and high points, which the Tempe's output switches between periodically. What we are doing here is setting the parameter to, say, 3 volts using the panel control, then attenuating the Tempe output to, say, 2 volts, and so we alternate between the shapes at 3 and 5 volts. A sequencer puts out a series of voltages that can be set to many possible values, but that, like the Tempe outputs, change from one value to the next immediately. For example, pressure points has four values available on each row, and they can be chosen via touch plate. Sending these to the shape input gives us two more possibilities than we get from a Tempe output. But the Tempe has not one but six outputs, which go low to high at independent but related times. Using maths, we can add or subtract up to four of these outputs at whatever amplitude we would like. Every time one of the outputs changes state, we will get a new value. The result will be a primordial sequencer in which the output is decided by the relationship between several inputs instead of stepping through predetermined values. Let's put it together one step at a time. I'll start by setting all the maths output attenuverters to zero and stopping the outer channels from cycling. Let's patch channel 2 of the Tempe to channel 2 of the maths. I'll take the sum output and patch it to the expo input on the DPO to control frequency. I've set the input attenuator fairly conservatively to about 10 o'clock. As I bring the channel 2 output attenuverter up, more and more voltage is added to the expo input, making the change in pitch more dramatic. So far so good. Let's do the same with channel 3 of Tempe, patching it to channel 3 of Maths. Since the two channels are firing at the same time, they are basically just being added together here. Okay, so let's run channel 3 at half the speed, set to divide by 2. Now all of a sudden we have four different possible values produced depending on whether channel 2 or channel 3 is high, or neither, or both. I can also subtract one from the other by setting the attenuverter left of noon. Let's add channel 1 and channel 4 to channel 1 and channel 4 of maths. these channels we can not only attenuvert the output through the sum, but also add slew at the beginning and end of the incoming clock using the rise and fall controls. Variations on tempi channel relations and maths pot placements give us many possibilities for this patch. Consider muting some channels for instant variation. Using one 
slower channel to select gate lets us move between many sets of clocks and therefore sequences. Catching inside maths can add variation too, for example taking the end of rise from channel 1 and using it to toggle cycling on channel 4 to add vibrato. If you set forth to patch with a particular melodic motif in mind, this type of patch might be frustrating to use. However, for the generation of fresh material, patching building blocks from the bottom up and tweaking to taste has the potential to generate results that you would probably not have come up with on your own. This meeting halfway between composer and instrument is one of the great strengths of the modular synthesizer. Thank <laughs> you. 